guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's Christine. We are in Flushing, Queens at one of my favorites. And my, I think arguably, the best soup dumplings. That's a bold statement. Okay, dude. well here's the thing. We tried Ting Tai Fung. Yeah, yeah. Horrible. Yeah. I went to Taiwan. Soup dumplings not good there either. Right. So this is still my go-to place for soup dumplings. And if you guys want really awesome soup dumplings, come here. Don't go to some like, Rinkity Zhou Shanghai nah, or no, Zhou Shanghai no. or Jack Shanghai or whatever. No Shanghai. No, no. This is where you go, people. Trust me. I did this video already for my Strictly Dumpling channel, so I, I wanted to take you guys here, double chin show, and uh, there's a couple specialties about this place that you should get if you're here. One is they have a soup dumpling made out of uh, squash. Squash. Yes. And they have the ultimate. Nobody has at least anywhere I've been, chocolate soup dumplings. You never had that before, right? No, nope, never. Queens Flushing, this place is kind of hard to come to. This, this is Kung Fu soup dumpling. It's kind of hard to get to. It is. It's off the beaten path, guys. Yes. But it's you guys should come trip. here. So today we're going to get the four different types of dumplings they have here, which is the regular, the crab, the sigua, sigua. they call it lufa, and the chocolate. I'm going to tell you guys, uh, introduce you guys to a couple of other items yes. that I always get that taste delicious, Ooh. and you should also get if you come here. So, we are going to go ahead and order, we'll see you guys in a little bit. First thing that I read at our table is one of my favorites, tofu brains. Brains? It's brains. Yep. To it's brain, it's the brain of a tofu. That's right. That's, that's just weird. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. You feel ever had tofu brain? No, never. You ever had tofu leg? No. <laughs> you ever had tofu leg? I think I had tofu arms once, but that was probably a few summers ago. That okay. might have been nice. Well, this is the tofu brain. This is what happens when you crack open a tofu's head, and this comes out. And then you put like a bunch of little stuff yeah. on there. This is a classic northern dish. In the south, they eat this too, but they eat it sweet. We eat it spicy and salty. So there's some seaweed, miniature dry shrimp, awesome. Chia Thai preserved vegetables, sel Thai, uh, cilantro, and uh, hot oil. Yo, Mike, that's not enough hot oil. That's for you, not man. enough hot oil. You gotta douse it. Are you Christine. a spicy person? I can be. I'll build myself up today. Good, good, because we're gonna eat a lot of spicy stuff today. If, if you hang out with Mike and eat a lot, you will build your spicy tolerance to an unimaginable level. I that's am the I'm spice here. trainer. For any of you who wants to be trained in the art of eating spice. Here we go, guys. The love of my life is here. Oh, oh god. What? No, that's nothing. That's nothing. It's nothing? No, I mean, if you weren't here, he might just dump the whole thing in there. Now it's ready to be served. Okay, Christian, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some uh, tofu brain here. And I would say they do this here really well. Yeah. Really well. Dan? Okay, yes, please. Make sure when you eat it, just mix it up. So oh. you're not eating like a chunk of tofu and no sauce. And they have sesame oil in there. That's what gives it that aromatic sesame flavor. Sesame oil, of yeah. course. Take a next spoonful of sauce, seasoning, everything. So good. I love it. You love it? Yeah. It's got so many different textures. You've got the crunchiness, you've got the savoriness, the flavors. So, so awesome, man. It's like a party in your mouth. Indescribable. Western way of cooking tofu, a lot of times, Put in a salad. That's not how you're supposed to cook tofu. No. No. This is one of the best ways to eat tofu. The real deal, right here. They don't understand that in Asian cooking, tofu is like they've done everything you could imagine to it. There's so many ways to cook it, and every way is different, and every way is delicious. They were so nice to us. They they gave us a platter of uh, husband and wife long pieces, long slices. Long slices of what? The long, husband? Okay. Long slices. Oh, long, long slices. Yeah. So, this is from the long of the husband and wife. Awesome. I'm alright now. It's basically beef and tripe. It's a Sichuan style dish. Yeah. And it's got like, it's spicy, it's tingly. You know there's tripe in there, right? What's tripe? It's you know um, what? Don't, don't tell me. Okay, alright. It's fish, called but I only... food adventure for a reason. There you go. Mm. That's a great attitude. Great attitude to have. I only oh. eat the beef slices. I can't tell. This is one of my favorite dishes across the board. In every single restaurant I go to, and yeah. they have it, I usually get it. It's nice, it's good. One of my favorite dishes of all time, Tongyo Chao Shou. Wontongs and hot oil. This place is one of my favorite places for this dish, yeah. because their wonton skin is very thin. They got a very substantial meat center. Get a wonton and dip it in the hot right. oil. Sauce, mm. wonton, here we go. This is so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Honestly, that, that, that blew the other dishes out though. <laughs> well, that was good. These are the best Hoyo Chao show yeah. I've had. Like, probably in New York, actually. Oh my god. And we order this dish everywhere we go, and every time, I can tell you right now, every time we order it, we always are disappointed. What's that, like, peanut butter tasty taste in it? Yeah, peanut butter sauce, little sesame sauce oh. in there. This is my favorite architectural structure ever. Bamboo, baby. Oh yeah. Let's open it up. Ready, guys? Oh! This is by far the best looking soup dumpling in New York City. If you guys been eating soup dumplings like a true Asian for a long time, just by the sight of it, you can tell right away. This is full, right. full of juice. Yeah, and also the thickness of the skin. Yeah, you can tell right away. Because a good soup dumpling, you can actually see through the thin skin and see the soup itself. All right, thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, Of course, you cannot eat soup dumplings without the traditional vinegar and ginger sauce that you need to douse in hot oil. Loving it. This is my sauce now. <laughs> So the ultimate fail at a soup dumpling meal is breaking the soup dumpling. You cannot, Can't break cannot it. do it. Yeah, I broke one the other day, actually. Oh my god. First one thing in a ever. long That's time. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I think she's oh, gonna rip it. Oh, 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 she got it. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. People have different ways of eating soup dumpling. What, what, how do you guys do it? Uh, you can bite off the top, drink the soup. Or no, you can, you can have the soup pour into your spoon and yeah. eat it That's like so. That's what I do. Yeah. So, like so Mike's got the... I bite it, dump the soup out. Yep. So you've got a spoonful of soup. Spoonful of soup. Yep. That's the way to do it. And then I like to add a little vinegar and hot okay. oil to okay. it. Okay. There you go. I you drink that. Oh. Eat it all at once, like all together. Just well, one big she, mouthful. Hold on. So what did you do? You so bit what? Off. What you want to do is bite off the top. Okay. You want to try and press it to get the soup out, and then you just you know. Press it. Whoa. Whoa. What? That's a new way of eating it. Never heard that before. I never it's heard good. that before. It's good. It's the better way. What? Wow. What, what? Yeah. Wait, hold on. What if, way? what if you lose the soup as you're pressing it, like down the sides yeah. of the spoon? And the whole bite, dude. Yeah. Why do you think Chinese spoons are like this? All right, and I and to me, I do a very classic way. I bite a small hole, incision. I suck it out while it's in there, and I put the sauce into the dumpling. So we all do it different ways. Yeah, most people don't like the way I do it, but whatever. We all different. Actually, you know what's funny? Ever since you started doing that way, I'll switch it up. Like one, I'll do my way, and the other one, yeah, I'll pour it on there. Uh, you know? That's so delicious. But hey, whatever way you do it. Okay. It's delicious. Okay. Don't judge. This is a no judgment soup dumpling zone. It's the planet fitness soup of soup dumplings. Pretty, pretty good. Is that not one of the best soup dumplings you ever had? Honestly, I can marry the soup dumpling. Yo, that is a not like, not a like statement for this young lady. It's not a like statement. No. This soup dumpling makes me happy. I want to give two more notes, right? Uh -huh. Whatever those bad places that we mentioned, the soup, it's way too heavy. It's, it's almost like you're drinking jello, like gelatinous soup. Yeah. And after you're done, dude, you've got this aftertaste in your mouth that will last for weeks. This right here, it goes down smooth, it's savory, it's shin, and afterwards you're like, man, that was almost like refreshing. What we just had was the straight up pork. Straight up pork. Oh my god. Not bad, not bad at all. Now I'm gonna try the crab. Ah, can I just show you guys something? It's actually pink inside. Yo, a lot of places, the crab, there's no real crab meat in it. They just exactly. put it on top. Oh, this is good. It tastes like crab, right? Mm. Oh, man. There's Dude. a crab in here. There is a I crab in here. I can eat soup dumplings Monday through Sunday, every morning. All right. Last one? Last one, the most spectacular one. This is something that no normal soup dumpling place has. <laughs> Mufa Chinese squash soup dumpling. I'll tell you guys this right now. It's crunchy inside. Oh. That melts with the porky texture of the meat. Exactly. This is awesome. Yeah. Definitely get this when you come here. Because in Chinese cuisine, a lot of like crunchy green vegetables, like peppers, squash, goes really well, like bitter melon with the with the meat. Yeah. And in this case, they put in a dumpling. Because the squash is more tsing now, which means it's, it's more like a uh, cool pulling factor. Yep. And mix that up with the fattiness of the pork. Dude. Have you ever had anything like that? No, I normally I don't like to eat vegetables voluntarily. Oh, Mike doesn't either. 
<laughs> but um, this is an exception to the rule, so that's all I need to say. Oh, uh, it's so good, guys. After a nice soup dumpling, nice bowl of chicken soup. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. And it's not any chicken soup. It is a wellness chicken soup. If you guys are Asian, okay, and you and your parents at home, at some point or another, they cook to this type of thing with ginseng, with goji berries. There's one called Eight Treasures, but this is just the basic herbal chicken soup, and it's delicious. Yeah, it's not like a typical noodle, chicken noodle soup. It's very light. A lot of very nice chicken flavor, very natural flavor. Oh, this is so good for you. If you if you're feeling like uh, if you have an upset stomach or you don't feel like eating something heavy, yeah, this is the great thing to do. Yeah. Oh. I love that. Yeah. It's great. I would make this every week at home, but it literally takes like eight to twelve hours to make this. I don't got, I don't got that kind of time. Wow, this is better than any chicken noodle, chicken rice, whatever the heck you find in or restaurant. This is how chicken soup should be. But we're not done yet. Because we have the highlights. We have the main attraction coming up. Stay tuned. Our main attraction has arrived. Chocolate soup dumplings. Christine, you asked a very valid question. What was it again? Is there meat in here? The answer is no. Thank There's God. The meat of a banana. The outside's got a little mochi-esque skin. Yep. So it's like a mochi crepe thing. That's right. Christine, take a bite. Not the whole thing, or it's gonna burn you. Okay. Careful. Just a little bite off the side. A little bite. Ah, it's hot. Okay. Careful, careful. It's gonna drip. There's hot chocolate in there. I'll take my chances. How amazing is that? Mm. This is reinventing soup dumplings. Reinventing. Mm. Guys, this is considered soup dumplings because the Nutella actually oozes out. Mm -hmm. And there's banana. This kicks the butt of the crepe. I love crepe with Nutella and banana. Turn right now. Because it's hot, you know? It's, it's like hot. hot. It's bursting out of the skin. What? It's amazing. Why do we only order one steamer? Man, we should have two. Usually I get one for myself. Yeah. They take something that's really popular and they put their own twist while making it so good, you know? It's really hard to find. Amazing. Loved it. How'd you like it today? Speechless. I love it. Uh, anyway, guys, this is our recommended place for New York Soup Dump. Please come here. We'll have the address for you in the description box. And make sure to check out Christine's channel. Brand new YouTuber. She's doing like funny skits and all that stuff. So definitely give her some love. We'll have her link in the description box as well. Check it out. Definitely check it out. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you come here, uh, mention you heard it from us, all right? Not that we get any commission or anything. We don't get anything, but you know. We still have to pay for this meal. It's nice, uh, you know? It's nice. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.